As we got out the next morning, it didn't take long to find that the birds were thick in the field like the night before. This definitely added to the excitement and anticipation for the afternoon hunt. With the front moving in, we had a strong wind that afternoon, and with a good number of snows also in the area, we decided to throw a decent sized rig and hide under the snow socks. Roy and his crew have had great success with this in the past. Big bull sprigs, big late season green heads. I mean, in that show, once the sun went down and the sun was shining on them. I mean, I don't, I don't know. We just ran out of time, but the duck show we got tonight was awesome, awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Done for us already? Yeah. Sit up. Ready? What? It's our second morning here at Grindstone and we're just finishing getting set up here on a loaf. We're probably about three quarters of a mile away from the feed that we hunted last night. When we watched this yesterday morning, there was a bunch of ducks trading back and forth in here. So we're gonna finish getting these blind spots set up, finish throwing some of the lifetime decoys and should be a good morning. It's fairly warm, it's about 40 degrees, but we got a good wind. Uh, so it should be a good water to water day, but hopefully we get on some more of them good looking ducks, green heads and pintails. Yeah, they uh, they didn't want to fly today. <laughs> we got a few groups come in. Um, didn't have really enough wind early on, and 
now that we have wind, they're just not flying. So a couple of groups that did it right, a few birds down, and uh, I think we're gonna pack it up, get out of here, get some lunch, and probably get out and go scout for uh, tomorrow's hunt. We hope you've enjoyed this free episode. To continue watching, start your free trial now.